Hey guys, welcome to Twin Flame Truth TV. Today, um, I'd like to talk about uh, why it sometimes and oftentimes, <laughs> very often, um, feels like you are going backwards um, along your Twin Flame journey or getting off track, off course. Um, you know, it, so often you could just, you know, be moving along feeling actually good and, and okay and like you're, you're doing really well, so to speak. And then all of a sudden, bam, out of nowhere, you feel like complete crap again, like complete shit. Um, the obsessive thoughts return, um, you know, all the crazy, awful feelings, and um, even the core wound pain can return. And so, you know, it, it can make you feel like, you know, you maybe took one step forward, but then you're taking two steps back again, or you just can't, you know, progress, so to speak, along your journey. Um, and I'm here to tell you that, first of all, first and foremost, you cannot go backwards on this journey. Um, you really can't fuck up, <laughs> okay? Um, yes, you can feel like shit, but that doesn't mean that you're you're doing you're fucking up or you're going backwards. Um, so, but what do I mean by that? I mean you're you can only go forwards. And so, what I mean by that though is I by forward I mean you're constantly, always expanding and growing and progressing and evolving. I mean, that's what we do. That's, that's the nature of the universe. It's dynamic, it's in flux. Everything is constantly changing and growing and evolving and progressing, right? So, um, so that's what I mean by going forward. You're constantly growing and expanding. Um, now remember, this is a journey of the soul. And your soul is omnipresent, so your soul is everywhere at once. So it's it's there, it's there, it's there, it's there, right? It's everywhere at once, um, and that's how the soul is. It isn't in a straight line. It isn't linear. Um, and when it grows, and when you grow and expand, when energy grows and expands, it does it in all infinite directions, all around in every direction, not just straightforward in one line, right? So when I say that you can only go forward, and by that I already said, I mean, you're because you're constantly always growing and evolving and changing. I don't mean you're just moving forward along a straight line, along one road or path. You are moving forward and growing and expanding in every single direction. And yes, even the direction behind where you're facing right now, right? Because it's every direction. Um, so in that sense, you can't go backwards. You're not going to, uh, instead of expanding all around, you're not going to deflate and like, you know, unexpand, right? Um, that doesn't happen. So you can't go backwards in that respect. You can only go forward. You can only grow. You can never go back. Um, you will never again be the same exact person that you were when you started watching this video <laughs> today. <laughs> just as I will never be the same exact person I was when I started speaking just now, right? You can never go back. And um, similarly, in the realm of the soul, everything is, just occurs now. There's no past and there's no future. Everything is now. So there's no time continuum or, or timeline, there's no space continuum or, you know, blueprint or anything like that. Everything is just everywhere all at once in the realm of the soul. And remember, that's the realm we're working on because A, that's the realm that's actually real and B, because this is a journey of the soul. Um, our minds, which are controlled by our fear-based push-pull energy, have to think linearly. They have to think, oh, forward is only this way and backward is only that way. That's the only two ways you can go. One straight line, right? There's past and then there's future. <laughs> One straight line. But that's not the way it is. So um, 
you know, our minds, though, they have to think that way because our minds can't conceive of every other way. Um, it's, it's just beyond the, con the comprehension of, um, of, your, of our minds. And our minds, remember, are controlled by our fear-based push-pull energy. And what does that energy fear the most? Not being in control. <laughs> That's what it fears. So um, it, it has to make things seem logical and that they can fit into, into – line and in and, and category, categories and boxes and labels and that just makes it feel like it's organized and logical but it's actually not even real <laughs> it's all an illusion a fake illusion under the false pretense of um, a false sense of security for your fear-based energy there is no linear line that includes with this journey therefore okay you can't go backwards like I said because you can't stop growing because once you stop growing, you're dying, and everything in the world, in the universe, is constantly in flux and growing. Okay, now, but let's let's um, let's kind of like discover why you can feel like you're going backwards and off the rails, right? Um, everyone's we've all been there on this journey, and we know that can happen, and many times. So instead of looking at it, though, like um, the journey is a path down a straight line, right? Because remember, no lines exist in the realm of the soul. Um, from my experience and um, what I've noticed with my students' experience as well is that instead of it a straight line, it, it goes kind of like this. And I drew a picture to help illustrate. <laughs> uh, I hope you can see it. So it goes kind of like this. It's like a spiral. So instead of going in a straight line or a straight line down your journey, it's going in a spiral. And each of these spirals, can we see this? Okay, so each of these spirals, up and down, it's, it's you feel up and then you feel down. And you're still moving. It's still moving forward. You're still growing and expanding and really in all directions. But it's still going up and down. This is how you're feeling, up and then down, up and then down, right? It's like a cycle. Everything cycles in the universe as well. If you notice, the seasons, um, the moon phases, the planets around the sun, <laughs> the moons around the planets, everything's cycling, right? So that's exactly what this is doing. And this cycle, though, the only thing that doesn't cycle and that's completely always steady and balanced and neutral, peaceful, love, and everything is your soul. But this cycling around, this is what? your fear-based energy, it cycles. And so, you know, one day you can feel really high and good, and the next day it's gonna come back down, you're gonna feel low, and then you can feel high again, and then you can feel low. And it's in the high parts that you feel like, wow, I'm really on track here. I'm making progress on my journey, and you are making progress, you can't go backwards. But you know, you feel like, oh, this is it. I'm finally done feeling like crap. But you know, no, because once there's a high, there always has to be a corresponding low. That's just how it works. Um, so, you know, that's why it feels like, you know, you're doing well and then it feels like you're doing bad and you're doing backwards. You're going forward and you're going backwards. But as we see, that's not the case. It's just cyclical. The fear-based energy is cyclical. It feeds in that way, up and down, up and down, up and down, as you move <laughs> along your journey, right, in every direction. So that's what's going on there and why it feels like you can go backwards and off the rails, even though that's not what's happening. Um, you're always progressing forward and growing. Now, doing this, though, that's what happens, you know, naturally as you do this journey. Now, if you do this journey, though, however, and you do it combining, um, you know, uh, the actual, there's actual steps, like action steps that you can take to align with your soul by identifying and working with your soul energy and then also specific individual things you need to do in order to balance your push energy here. And if you're doing those two things, which I mean those are, are beyond the scope of anything I can teach in a video because they're very individualized and there's actually steps to take and that's like what I teach in my coaching programs. However, if you're combining those two things, aligning with your soul and balancing out your push uh, fear-based energy, then this stuff, the highs and the lows, the fear-based energy becomes more balanced, which means more centered, more neutral, 
less highs and lows. So it goes from this. It goes from the bigger highs, and then as you're doing those two things, aligning with your soul and balancing energy gets smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and tighter. And then until finally, it's just a little tiny thing, and you don't even feel the highs and lows because it's just so minuscule. It won't get it won't get totally just like a straight line or in the middle and, and not spiraling um, until you reach ascension, which is not happening for anyone in this lifetime. But for all intents and purposes for, for this lifetime in this part of our journey, in this twin flame part of our journey, it can get to this as long as you're doing the aligning and the balancing, right, at the same time as you're progressing forward. So that's why we want to do that stuff. Now, contrast and compare that with um, you're not doing the aligning and the balancing, and um, instead, you're, you're back here. However, when, to do, when you're doing this, though, every time you go up, instead of aligning and balancing, what you're doing is um, you're feeding your fear-based pushed energy, which causes it to grow even more. So this can even get bigger and bigger and bigger instead of smaller and smaller and tighter, right? Because um, you're, it depends how much you're feeding your fear-based pushed energy. And how we feed our fear-based pushed energy is by believing or thinking any thoughts, good or bad, regarding the twin flame or your journey or any of this, you know, like the thought that, oh my God, I'm going backwards. I feel like crap. That means I'm totally fucking up in this journey. I don't know what I'm doing. You know, I suck at this, whatever. Fear-based energy, you're feeding it if you believe that because you can't fuck up and you can't go backwards, as I've said. But, um, you know, just any, any kind of thoughts, good or bad, that you believe about the twin flame or the twin flame journey is feeding your energy. What else feeds your energy? Well, uh, you know, not fighting that urge, giving into the urge to, to stalk your twin flame or check up on your twin flame or talk about your twin flame or your journey or to text your twin flame or call your twin flame or to respond immediately to your twin flame when they call you or contact you, right? Um, all of those things feed the push fear-based energy, which again causes these ups and downs, the spiral to get bigger and bigger rather than smaller and smaller, which is what we want to have happen as, in order to reach the balance that you need to reach in order to continue to feel Never feel those highs and lows again, just to feel awesome and to, if you choose to, have a physical relationship with your twin flame. That is what you have to get to. This, this, this. We want the highs and lows to get so small and so insignificant that they just end up teeny tiny little circle that, you know, you don't, that doesn't even register in your feelings anymore because it is so small and insignificant. And um, so that happens again by only aligning with your soul, using specific steps that you, you, you use by identifying your, your actual soul energy and using those steps to shift closer into alignment with your soul. And then also simultaneously at the same time, starving out, not feeding, balancing your fear push, your fear based push energy of which remember your twin flame is the pole. But so that's what um, that's basically what's going on, though. Why you could feel like you're going backwards and going off course, but you aren't. You aren't. There is no straight line of a course that you could go off of, and uh, you can't go backwards because again, you're growing and going forwards in every single direction, <laughs> including behind you at all times. That's just the way it works um, in the realm of the soul. And anything else that you see in the physical world is complete illusion and fabrication made up by your fear-based energy. So believing anything that you see really or sense with your physical senses is also kind of feeding your fear-based energy if it's regarding the twin flame. That's why I say anything the twin flame is saying, doing, thinking, feeling is irrelevant. <laughs> it is because it's all an illusion. So, um, yeah, I hope that helps explain, um, you know, why you can feel like you're taking one step forward but then two steps back. Um, you aren't. Don't worry. Uh, if you want to get more and more closer to balance and, 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 and um, <laughs> decreasing, I guess is the word I'm looking for, and making smaller that spiral instead of the high, high, the big highs and low swings, make them smaller. Um, you know, hit me up. Uh, that's exactly what I teach in my coaching programs. It's a very simple and quick process to get there. Um, it's, it's not difficult. It's, 
it's just, you know, beyond the scope of anything I can teach in this video because it's very individualized for everyone's unique individual um, circumstances and journey and um, really where they are at any given moment. So um, thank you for watching. I'm Alhari. I'm Twin Flame Alchemist, writer, teacher, and coach. And um, thanks for tuning in. Have a great week. Lots of love. Bye.